that's um, a parent's dream and a nightmare. It's like we're losing him. He's going to go out there in the world and he'll never be our little boy in the same way, but he'll always be our little boy. Hey, Luna, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, congratulations on Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and also Transformers Rise of the Beast. You're phenomenal in that as well. Um, <laughs> What, what what were some of the, oh, well, that wrong question. Uh, you bring, uh, hold on one second, I'm so unorganized, I'm so sorry. It's okay, slow down. Your character brings a humanity to a very bombastic world of powers and multiverses. Um, how does how do you bring the humanity, not only to the movie, but to also Miles? Well, I mean, she's a parent. This is, the, you know, this is the mother. This is where it all begins, you know? And she just wants the best for her son. So it's like anything, right? No matter how high you rise, your mom, your dad, your family is always going to remind you who you are and what you came from in the best way, in the most loving way. And I think that's what she does. That's incredible. Now, um, uh, I love the, dy the family dynamic in this movie. Uh, how do you approach that, um, capture the comedy? Uh, how do you approach that in the recording? Well, unfortunately, we don't, we're not together when we do it. So, but I can, I'll hear um, whether, you know, just their voices. And immediately I drop in and I'm like, oh, these are my guys. Like I and so it's really easy. Having done the first one, I feel like it's much easier to drop in just hearing like, like an audio cue. Um, now, one of the main things that I loved about the first film that I know carries over to this film is Miles' connection with his parents. How has that relationship evolved from the first film to, the, to now? Well, Miles is growing up, right? So he's no longer this little kid that you can bully around. He's got his own, you know, ideas, thoughts, convictions about what he thinks, how he wants to move forward. He's about to enter college, and, you know, that's um, a parent's dream and a nightmare. It's like we're losing him. He's going to go out there in the world, and he'll never be our little boy in the same way, but he'll always be our little boy. The last question I have for you, if there was a Spider-Man buddy cop movie starring you and any Spider-Man, who would be your Spider-Man to ride along with? A, a, a buddy film? Yeah. I mean, it, it's got to be Spider-Gwen. Spider Wouldn't that be the... <laughs> I think that dynamic would be kind of hilarious and fun. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time, Luna. I appreciate it. You too. Thank you.